Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie. If you're new here, I'm so, so glad you found my channel. Today we have another tanning review. You all know I love self tanning. I love spray tanning. I love testing out self tanners and I love reviewing them for you guys so that you all know what's good, what's not, the pros and cons of every product. And I'm here today to review the Sosu Dripping Gold Luxury Tanning Ultra Dark Mousse. So if you guys love tanning videos, please give me a thumbs up below. Check out some of my other tanning videos that I'll have linked below, linked up here. And make sure you subscribe if you aren't already. I make all kinds of beauty, makeup, and fashion related content here on my channel. And let's go ahead and get into the review. All right, so I also wanted to let you all know I did do a demo, like all my other videos, of me putting this tanning mousse on and showing you how it applies. So let's start with what this product is. So I've heard a lot of good things about this product. I had never, ever, ever used it until about, when did I order this? I would say I ordered this in May. So I ordered this off of Amazon. They have a few sellers that sell this product and I got the one that had free shipping, free prime shipping. There were some sellers that were selling this product for a little bit less, but they were shipping for like $10 and stuff like that. So I did pick the one that was $47.74. The product that I got was the Ultra Dark. It actually does come in three colors. And I always get the darkest formula pretty much in every tanning mousse. It gives you your directions on the back and it claims that it's silky smooth, lusciously bronzed, and gives you a deep golden tan. And that it also is formulated with vitamin A, vitamin E, and hyaluronic acid. It also has some natural goji berry and chamomile. So this formula is vegan, paraben free, and cruelty free. So that off the bat is obviously a pro for this formula, but I've heard a lot of good things about it, so I had to try it for myself. Now, I will say right off the bat, I really, really, really like this mousse, but I have cons. I always have pros and cons, and this is no exception. So let's go ahead and get into the demo real quick so you can see me apply it. Like always, I apply this formula with one of my mitts. This mitt is actually from Loving Tan. Doesn't have to be any specific mitt, but I love mitts and mousse formulas together. So let me show you how I apply it, and then we'll come back here and go over the pros and cons. First of all, as you all saw in the demo, when I was applying the product, the product is a very nice bronze color upon first application. Sometimes my gripe with products is they turn a really weird color, like the guard color is a weird color. This one is not. So this one is not green tinted. This one is not too orange. I feel like this is a perfect bronze color. I feel like when you apply this, you can automatically go out and nobody would think that you look weird. The color is just really, really nice right when you apply it. So that is my first pro, which I'm looking for that because sometimes I just wanna be tan and go to dinner or be tan and be good for the day. And this one, you can definitely put this on and not have to worry about the color. My next pro is that it is not that stinky. So as you all know, all tanning products have that DHA scent you're not going to be able to get away from it. You're never going to be able to have a tanning product that has no scent. And this one does smell, but this one is definitely not stinky. It's not overpowering and it definitely isn't something that bothers me whatsoever. So this is 
fine in the scent department in my opinion. The next thing is I like the darkness and the evenness of the color. So I actually did just apply this tonight before I'm filming this video. And as you can see, I'm very even. I look really, really nice. I don't have any patchiness. I have no spotting, which is really good. So I really like the way that the color looks on me. And it also looks very natural. I like the color. I like the way that it looks. And I don't think that it really looks like a fake tan. I think another really good thing about this product is obviously mine is in the color Ultra Dark but they have a medium and a dark as well. I always go for the darkest color, but if you did wanna go for a medium or dark tan instead of ultra dark, you can, they do have options, which is good. Obviously, I also like that it is vegan, paraben free, and cruelty free. So that is great for people out there who are looking for a vegan formula. I think that's awesome that they did that. And that's probably why the product is a little bit more expensive. My favorite pro about this tanning mousse is actually not even the initial color it's the way that it wears and it fades and this is the most important part to me because there are so many tans that i like out there but the way that they wear and the way that they fade are horrible on me i have the worst luck because i have really really dry skin and my skin becomes patchy and spotty very very quickly and my skin doesn't hold on to tan very long so some people say like oh I put this mousse on and it's good for like six or seven days that is like never the case for me especially with at-home tanning products sometimes I can make a spray tan last seven days but usually with tanning from home I cannot do that this is an exception to that I love the way that this wears it is a very long wearing at home tanning product, which I, I absolutely adore about this. It's my favorite thing about it. It wears for like six or seven days on me. I, I love it so much. And the way that it wears, it's not patchy. It doesn't really spot on me. Of course, all the tanning lotions that you put on, they're going to wear, they're going to fade. But this one is really, really good in the way that it fades, especially on dry skin. And I just love the longevity of it as well. That's my favorite thing about it. So let's get on to the cons of this product. First of all, this is a small bottle. This bottle is only 5.07 fluid ounces. So that to me is just really expensive for such a small bottle because it's almost $50. I just feel like that is a little bit expensive. I know that the formula is just made with really nice ingredients and I understand that and I do think that the price is justified especially for the long wear of the product but it is expensive. It's not a really cheap affordable product. I feel like $50 for a small bottle of tan is kind of a lot. My next con is it is a little bit tricky to blend on your skin. So the first time that I used it, I didn't understand that you really can't over blend this. When I started blending, I would blend a little bit too much and then I would get little patches on the guard color that would like kind of, I, would, I don't know, like scrunch together. There'd be like little dark spots all over and I'd have to rub them out. And that's just from over blending. So if you rub too much, you will get those. So just make sure when you rub that you blend it out really softly, really easily, and you don't keep going over and over it because then it kind of like, the product like balls up on you and it gets to be, I don't even know how to describe it, but it gets like little dark patches, like little bunches of product. So do not over blend this product because it can make it difficult to blend out. The other con that I find with this product is it's not easily accessible. So it's not something you can pick up in Target or Ulta or Sephora or anything. You kind of have to get it online and Amazon's pretty much the only place that I found it. The last con that I have about this product is that it does stain your clothes and sheets when you first put it on but that's pretty much with any guard color. So I'm not really offended about that. I really don't care. I'm just letting you know it does stain when you first put it on. So that's basically all I have to say about the Sosu Dripping Gold Luxury Tanning Mousse in Ultra Dark. I do recommend it. I like it a lot, but it's not perfect, but no tanning product at home is. So would I recommend this to you guys? I absolutely would. I think you would love it. It's a great at home tanning product, 
but just make sure you are aware of those cons. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in my next video.